actually are in the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park in Michigan. Today we're backpacking nine miles. Tomorrow is only seven, and then our last day is a total of 13 miles for a grand total of a 25 mile loop around the Porcupine Mountains. 29. 20, what'd I say? Oh, 29 mile total loop around the Porcupine Mountains. Let's go. So what's weird about backpacking in the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park is that you go through two different time zones like twice. So where I live in Milwaukee, we're in central time. We drove up to Michigan, this part of the park we're now in eastern time. But today, over the nine miles we're hiking, we're gonna go back to central time. So we're gonna gain an hour again. And then tomorrow, over the seven miles we have tomorrow, we're going back to eastern time. <laughs> we'll then stay in eastern time for another day and then when we drive back to Milwaukee, we're going back to Central. So in a matter of like two nights, three days, we're crossing time zones like three times. What are you eating, buddy? <laughs> oh, look at your little hand. Oh, yeah, little man. Friday today, we're backpacking the rest of today, all day Saturday, and then we head out on Sunday. Three days, two nights. Because it's only three days and two nights, we don't have a crazy amount of food with us and our packs aren't super heavy. So I have two breakfasts, one for Saturday morning, one for Sunday morning. I have three lunches, one for today, Saturday, and then Sunday. I was thinking about only bringing two. Since we have 13 miles on Sunday, it'll probably take us a decent amount of time and I want to make sure I have enough food with me. I'd rather have too much food than not enough because it would really suck to run out. Then I also have two dinners, one for tonight and then tomorrow night, Saturday. That's about it, otherwise I've got snacks like granola bars, trail mix, beef sticks, all the regular backpacking kind of snacks. So there's not too much weight of food, which is kind of nice. We also timed this pretty good with the weather. Lucky for us, it's super nice out today. It's supposed to be tomorrow. And then I think Sunday it's supposed to rain in the evening, so we should be out before that hits. But it's like, it's not supposed to be over 80 degrees. I think it's a high of 79 over the weekend. And at night it's gonna get down to 55, partly sunny the whole time, so it's pretty nice. You see these sunglasses? That sucks. Should we like put them on a tree somewhere? They're right in the middle. They'll notice them if they walk by. But anyway, yeah, we got we got really lucky with the weather, so it should be a great weekend for backpacking. Just the mosquitoes are starting to come out now the further we get into this forest. This is cool, it's like deep old growth forest. Dark, I like it. Dude, I gotta go. Only five and a half more miles to go. It's kind of crazy. We're walking along, and it turns out we're actually on the North Country National Scenic Trail. That right there. Pretty sure it's the longest National Scenic Trail in the United States. It's something like 4,000 miles, and it goes from, I think, upstate New York or Pennsylvania all the way across the Midwest into like the middle of North Dakota. It's super long. And I did not expect that we were gonna be on it today. Looks like a good one. Oh. Made it. Number 10. Awesome. Oh, sweet, we got chairs. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, after about four hours on the trail and nine miles of hiking, we made it to our first campsite for this weekend. It's a sweet little spot. 
Not bad, we're kind of up above the river a little bit, which is cool with it right down there. Like all of that exposed rock, exposed granite. I love that stuff, I just think that looks super cool. You guys wanna see some Little Carp River water? Tastes pretty good. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get our campsite set up for the night and hang out. We've still got, I mean, it's only five o'clock. We've got several hours of daylight still. Tent. Home sweet home. Not bad. It's a little snug, but it works. Now we gotta make some Beefy cheddar mac. Oh yeah. So as I had mentioned in other videos, I wanted to make beefy cheddar mac and cheese. That's what's inside there. This homemade dehydrated beefy cheddar mac and cheese. Now we wait. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna try this out. Beefy cheddar mac and cheese. I can really tell the cheese is at the bottom. It has a little bit to it. It's not bad. Yeah, like, it's really not bad. Goes. Yeah, like the I'm really surprised the beef is like ground beef. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it literally feels like regular ground beef, even though it's been completely dehydrated. Same with the noodles. That is homemade beefy cheddar mac and cheese. Doesn't this river here look pretty sweet? The Little Carp River. It's just sweet little river. Like I said, I love all the exposed rock. It looks awesome. Ever since I was a kid, we'd come up to these places with my parents, like Northern Wisconsin State Parks, and then also up here in the Porcupine Mountains. I was here when I was a kid before with my parents, and I always loved just this exposed granite north woods kind of feel. Something about it is just it's just super cool, and I just fell in love with it when I was a kid. So. It's awesome to finally be back here and actually get like deep into the woods now, away from people, not at a campground. Like we're in our own site way out in the back country. I love it. Right now I'm also testing out these shoes. They're the Goat Grip shoes. They might just be my next and my first ever camp shoes. So it's fun to test these out and take off my trail runners after a long day of hiking. I like it. I can just walk around on these rocks Feels like I'm wearing socks. That rhymed. <laughs> I didn't even try to do that. All right, me and Ash are gonna relax for the rest of the night. We've only got seven miles tomorrow. Really quick day, but it's sweet because it's gonna be all along the entire Lake Superior, so I'm very excited for that. See you guys in the morning. short day today seven miles to go we took our time this morning because we got up we got up at like or I should say I got up at 7 30 actually got up at 5 30 <laughs> but it's now 10 10 a.m. should be just a really short day One thing that I've noticed about this trail is that there's not a whole lot of elevation gain or loss. There's not a whole lot of ups and downs, but the short amount that you do go up and down seems to be straight up and straight down. <laughs> it's just like straight up.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty chilly. <laughs> that's really cold. It's so big. Now we made it to the lake, we've got like five or six miles just straight down until we get to our campsite. Ashley was just able to check the weather and before when we left it was like a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, Sunday, but not until the afternoon. Now she just looked and it's down to like a 24% chance but there's a small chance there could be rain in the morning now, which hopefully it doesn't because out of all things, I forgot to bring a rain jacket. And <laughs> I'd like to not get rained on tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Three forty Eastern time, so two forty Central time, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, Four hours and 40 minutes, a little bit longer than I thought it would be. But I think we're just pulling up on our campsite now. Is this it? This is 15. Oh yeah. Sweet, we're right along the lake like I hoped. Hell yeah, oh it's right there. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, let me take a little more look in a second. Sweet. Yeah, it does. Oh, I want to go to that rock out there. I'm glad we're here now because my feet were starting to get really tired. I know, same. All right, time to hang out and set up everything. We had some lunch, or not lunch, we had a, a larger snack, at least I did for myself. Then we got our tent all set up here, right next to the water, which is sweet. I mean, it's basically the same thing as last night. We got here a lot later than I thought we would, which is good. We don't have too much time just hanging out here. We spent most of the day hiking and walking, and we're just gonna spend the rest of the night here. This is our last night camping, and then tomorrow we head back home. It's now 5.21 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most confusing part of the trip, is trying to figure out what time it is. Last night here, 10-ish miles tomorrow, really not sure. We're gonna try to get up early, like 5.30, a.m. and be on the trail by seven, so we can be back by the car by like 11 o'clock. That's the goal. But we're just gonna hang out the rest of tonight. See you guys in the morning. morning here in the Porcupine Mountains. We're just about to head out. It's 7.40, so we're 40 minutes behind schedule, per usual. <laughs> Should be a scenic last day. It's always sad leaving the last day of backpacking. It's a beautiful morning, that's for sure.
made it. Made it. We made it. I'm so sweaty. <laughs>